Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share six signs that a man is emotionally investing in you. Hi there, Matt Shaper, your empowerment connection and relationship coach here. I'm a former attorney who's committed his life to supporting you and creating the sort of fun, fulfilling, dynamic connections and relationships with men that you are so worthy of. And this is one of my absolute favorite things to talk about. We're going to be unpacking six foolproof signs that a man is opening his heart to you, that he's catching feelings for you, that he's falling in love with you. And we're going to do these in order, kind of from the early stages of getting to know somebody through till the moment where things become very real. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of fun, but before before we do, be sure to take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption because I have some awesome news. I'm gonna be doing a free live course, a free live love course for all of you called Mastery of Connection. This is my flagship course. We're gonna be starting October 10th, and this is going to be uh, three weeks of live coaching with me, over 50 hours of live coaching, as well as 15 video lessons that are gonna take you through your beliefs and how to change your beliefs around dating and relationship, your attachment style, how to understand and connect with men, and so much more. It's a transformational process, and it is absolutely free, so head on over to masteryconnection.com or click the link and uh, sign up. We'd love to have you. And uh, what do you got to lose, right? It's going to be a blast. And don't worry if it's after October 10th or October 31st, right, when the course ends. Uh, we'll still be putting you on the wait list for our next course or letting you know what next opportunity we have coming up. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So as a man falls in love, he's going to be communicating to you that his feelings for you are growing, right? But he's not going to be communicating to you oftentimes through his words. Emotional vulnerability verbally for a lot of men is very scary. Instead, a man is going to show you that he's caring about you more and more through his actions. Actions are how the masculine often expresses emotional intimacy. Those, so these six signs we're going to be going through from the beginning of a relationship onward are going to be actions that a man takes that help you see that he is starting to develop deeper feelings for you. So now number six, the sixth thing, this is going to be right after you meet him or pretty soon after, is that he courts you from the very beginning. Now, I know when you hear the word courting, right, you might think of some fancy formal process. It would give me the greatest pleasure if you would do me the honor of letting me lead you through this. Dance. Yes, dance. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not how I mean it. What I mean is, is that he's going to be more formal in a very sweet way in how he initiates contact with you, as in he's going to ask you on formal structured dates, rather than just being like, hey, wanna come over and you know watch Netflix or whatever. He's gonna be very focused and directive and a little more formal in the way that he invites you into connection with him. For example, he might say something like, would you like to go get dinner with me this Friday? I'd love to pick you up. You know, and that's a clear, direct, almost kind of formal invitation, right? But it's done that way because he sees you as a high value, high quality, important person to him. And when he asks you that, don't you feel like uh, you're a priority, like you're a priority to him? When a man is beginning to court you, right, in a more formal way, you're not gonna have any doubt you're gonna recognize that you're a priority to him and it's gonna feel really good. And the fifth sign is he plans ahead like a boss. So uh, when a man wants to achieve anything, when he wants to create anything, he creates a plan to do so. Say he wants to climb a mountain, he's gonna come up with a plan, he's gonna come up with a blueprint, and then he's gonna execute on that and he's gonna be looking ahead to the next step until he achieves the goal. So the same thing applies when he's emotionally investing in you, right? He sees you, he sees someone that he would love to bring into his life, and so he's gonna be planning and looking ahead constantly because he sees a future with you. So while you're on one date, as that date's coming to an end, he's gonna be asking you, hey, so when can I see you again? He's going to be laying the foundation for the next time you're getting together, for the next date. Oh, would you like to do this? You know, what about if we do that? There's always going to be a sense of future in the way that he's talking to you because he's planning ahead, because he wants to keep bringing you into that next phase of his life. And just recognize if he's doing this, this is him stepping up and into his masculine power with you and looking to 
drive things in a positive direction and you have a great responsibility and opportunity at that time to just sort of like surrender and receive and trust that the plan that he's got for you is going to be a good one. So you'll feel safe in this process and you'll be able to relax and just enjoy the ride. And the fourth sign is he's responsive to your needs and desires. Now this can look a lot of different ways. This can look like you setting a boundary of liking to go on dates earlier in the night rather than later on in the night, right? And so from that point on, he always asks you out for dinner at like 5.30 or 6 rather than trying to do something at 9 or 10. Or maybe you say that you like a particular type of food or a particular type of music, right? And the next time you guys are hanging out, he's got a whole date planned out that involves Indian food and Backstreet Boys. Or are they still touring? I don't even know. <laughs> But he's listening, right? He's asking you and he's listening about what it is that you like. He's listening to your boundaries. He's listening to your preferences. And then he's giving them back to you in the way that he's responding to you. And the other way that this might look is that he's sensitive to your needs, right? And so, for example, with my girlfriend, uh, Callie, uh, we live together here in, here in Austin. And I get up a lot earlier than her. So I get up like hours earlier than her and I don't want to wake her up because she's sleeping, right? So I love my morning shake, but I don't want to wake her up. So I'll actually take the blender and I will take it out into the garage and close the door and take it to the back of the garage and blend my smoothie in the back of the garage so that she can continue to sleep because I know how important her sleep is for her to have a wonderful day that day. So it's just but if a man is thinking about you and you can tell that he's really invested in your needs and your preferences, that's a really good sign as you two are getting to know each other that he's becoming more and more emotionally invested in you. And the third sign is he plays with you. And this goes to the fundamental principle that at heart, all men are little boys and we are dying to play. <laughs> and one of the best, most fun ways that we have to play is with our feminine partner. So as the two of you get to know each other and you start to trust each other more and there's a sense of emotional safety and understanding cultivated between the two of you, he's gonna wanna play. And that might look like him teasing you a little bit, him messing with you, right? It might look like the two of you watching funny stuff together and laughing about it or figuring out what, what each other's senses of humors are like. It might look like you guys playing competitive games together and talking a little smack and going back and forth. But it's gonna feel really fun. It might not be super mature, but it's gonna be super fun. And so I want you to ask yourself, right? Is he inviting you into play? Is he teasing you? Is he being competitive with you? Does he want to go to mini golf? Is he asking you to play video games with him? And, and the biggest question, are the two of you laughing when you're together? If you're laughing a lot, if you're having fun and it's not super serious and maybe it's a little silly, that's a great sign that his walls are coming down and his heart is coming out. I know in my own relationship with Callie, I have really gotten to enjoy that. I love playing with her, dancing with her, goofing around with her. We just got done watching The Office. We're having so much fun laughing together. It's one of my favorite parts of our relationship. And the second sign is he treats you as his partner in shine. <laughs> now, I know you probably heard of partner in crime, which means that you guys have each other's back no matter what, but partner in shine takes it to another level. It means that he sees you as his equal. He sees you as his teammate. He sees you as his partner, and he wants to go out there and shine in the world with you. Now, that means supporting you unconditionally in whatever you've got going on in your life. It means knowing that he can trust you and he turns to you, not only in his good days, but in his bad days for support. It means that he sees life with you as an adventure, right? And he knows that no matter what's happening, that the two of you are going to face them together. And one of the biggest ways you'll know he's your partner in shine is that he feels so empowered by his relationship with you that he's going out into the world and he's taking bigger risks in his professional life. He's taking bigger risks in his personal life than maybe he ever has before. I know in my own relationship with Callie, having her in my life, anchoring me and giving me this stable base, it inspired me to buy my first house and to take whatever actions I had to do to, to achieve that goal. And that was a, a huge stretch for me. And it was a huge thing that I achieved because I was inspired by my partner in Shine. And here we go. The number one sign that he is emotionally investing in you is he wants to share you with his world. He wants to share you with 
everyone. He wants to share you with his family, with his friends. He's, he wants to share you on social media. Not only does he want to, he's excited to, right? He wants to let everybody know that you are his woman, that you're his partner in shine, that you're his queen, and that the two of you have built an amazing relationship together. If you are not his dirty little secret, if you are someone that he is talking openly to, to everyone in his life, guess what? <laughs> he is fully emotionally invested. He is all in with you. And he is someone that most likely is very safe to be in a relationship with. So if you have any number of these signs, depending upon where you are in the um, uh, spectrum of a relationship, congratulations. You've got a wonderful partner and it's probably safe for you to continue getting to know him better and building an amazing relationship with him. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was or any additional signs that I might have missed. And be sure to click that link, head over to masteryconnection.com and sign up for my free love course starting uh, on October 10th. It's going to be an amazing three-week live journey with me and women from all over the world. We're going to have a blast. You don't want to miss it, right? And be sure to stay tuned to this next video. This next one is an even bigger list. It's 10 signs that he's emotionally invested in you. And this is going to be an even bigger list of even more signs that a man is really catching feelings for you and is really wanting to be in a deeper relationship with you. So check that one out and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Number one is they embrace your flaws with open arms and a smile. And this reminds me of a really great quote that we come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly.